Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Mango Section. I'm here today to bring the review from One Piece Manga Chapter 950. Now, I'm just gonna go through bits and bobs of stuff that I want to talk about and I'll call it a review. Excuse me. The first thing that I want to talk about is Kid and uh, what he said within the chapter. Because at first, I and I think I um anticipated it. Um, just misunderstood what was going on here because we have the scene where well, we see him flash happen in flashback and we see that Luffy you know spoke to Kid and he's like Kid Kid's like well, what you're going off to Kaido Luffy's like yeah you wanna come and now I can't probably not gonna remember word for word but the first thing that Kid says is are you crazy so that made me think and are you crazy and some other stuff as well but the first time I read it basically what my thought process was was that kid was saying no nah, I'm not coming I'm not coming with you I'm done with alliances you know I don't trust no one no more I'm not aligning myself with you I'm done I'm gonna get my friends back and then I'm out that's how I interpreted it the first time when I read it again I interpreted things a little bit different. So the first thing is the are you crazy? Things versus crazy is like yes of course when he says are you crazy to me he's but I reckon now that he's making up of course of course I'm going off the um of course I'm going off the um Kaido. And then the whole thing about um him say what does it say exactly? Yeah, just put it up quickly. It's something you did you see what he did to my partner? So that's just showing that you know he cares about his crew and you know, his crew as his partner been damaged. I mean like you know been hurt. He stands by his friends so he can't accept that. So that's why he has to go come kick Kaido's ass. That's why he has to kill um talk to Kaido again because you know um you know he disrespected his friends, you know uh, kid, not kid, killer, most importantly, because that's what I'm seeing, but he doesn't know, at least if you don't think he knows what's happened to the rest of his crew, so you know, he's out for revenge, but when it comes to alliances, he's done with that, he tried it, and you no, know, it didn't work, I'm surprised he ever tried alliance to begin with, because I thought that was out of character for him, I've said that before in the past, but you know, he said, he's mentioned, you know, he's done the alliances, you know, they betrayed him, so he's not doing that again, he's not going to side with Luffy and you know, he's going to do things on his own right, on his own. So, I don't think he's done, I do think he's still going to play a part when it comes to defeating Kaido, but he won't officially be a part of the lights. And that is funny because I remember way back in Punk Hazard when I thought, yeah, Luffy and Kid are gonna go end up after Big Mom and Kid will be an unofficial link to the alliance. I may have got the I may have got the young co wrong, but I think I'm right about the end result. So I think Kid will still be there for the final showdown. He just unofficially will be a part of the alliance. Moving on. Hold on one sec. Moving on, so the incident from 10 years, so Shuten Maru, he's taken Inu and um, the Duke, the Duke, Dog Duke, uh, to this gravesite, and this is basically where we find out that there was more boys, there was more men siding with um, uh, the Ku, the Ku, Ziki, <laughs> the clan, the clan, <laughs> Odin, Odin's clan, yeah. So we find out that there was more boys, but these boys got impatient. They waited 10 years and like, do you know what, Shutamaru, we can't do this no more. We're not sure if they're coming. You know, it's a legend, you know. We really believe this legend. Fair enough. Things are getting rough. we got a strike like right now. So we just find out that there was more boys and they died because they got too impatient and tried to rush, and tried to rush bait. Uh, we see Shu tomorrow didn't go with them, you know, we see him seeing them off, snag, you know, come back, you know, wait, trust and believe in Odin, that's the way forward, but you know, obviously they didn't, they rushed things, they died, for a good cause, I guess, you know, because they were trying to do Odin's will, 
well, they should have been a bit more patient. And then once they find out, it's the whole, what's Kinema finds out rather, it's the whole thing of, you know, why 20 years, making it seem like there's some bigger purpose there. So I'm thinking, you know, Odin knew why it had to be 20 years. And the first thing one would assume majority wise would be that maybe Odin knew about Luffy. But I do think Odin knew about something and that probably will come up later on down the line. We'll find out the true reason why Odin waited, why Odin knew it had to be 20 years later down the line. I think because I'm not that, and because that's why it was brought up in this chapter. That's why I think anyway. But we will see. So we have Zoro. He's trying to get his sword back. He's on a mission to get his sword back. He's like, you know, no, I need this for the final day because on the final day, day of the day of the showdown, you know, things are gonna get rough. I'm gonna need to send Taru. I'm gonna need to keep Kiyu Taru. I mean, the, the nine Taru, whatever one, the how you pronounce it. You know, I need to be on my A game because things are gonna get rough on that day. So he's on the mission to find his sword, and during this time, he's like, yo. I'm not going to let Orochi, I'm not going to forgive Orochi for letting this. So he wants to have a fight with Orochi. So maybe we'll get an Orochi versus Zoro fight. I don't know, maybe. But it is possible. But we know that, you know, he's not going to forgive Orochi for what he did. And then Momo's sister says, yo, let me kill Orochi. I don't know if this is going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen. I think the next time, if it's not the next time, at some point we're going to find out that Zoro had a speech with my sister's like, yo, you know, it takes a lot to kill someone. Once you kill someone, you know, you, you know, it sets you down a dark path, blah, 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 that kind of speech. I reckon something like that will happen, but only time can tell on that. So the last thing I want to talk about is that at the very end of the chapter, we find that Hawkins has Lord captured. So that means... Actually, it doesn't mean that, but we find out that Lord um, Hawkins has Lord captured, and he looks beat up. So I'm gonna say a fight did go down, but Lord, even though he does look beat up, he has a smile on his face, and that could be a D thing or it could not be a D thing. I, but I reckon Lord has a plan. I'm fairly certain Lord has a plan. Maybe he came up with it halfway through the fight, and let himself get captured. But I feel like he's got a plan and he let himself get captured and he's just waiting, biding his time just so he can save um Beppo and the rest of his rest of his crew that's been captured. Maybe he's being um precautious because you know this is a delicate situation that his crew is in right now. But at the end of the day, and I'm pretty sure I said it before, I feel like Law could just go room, you know, remove the dolls and then done. But maybe there's more to it that we don't know about. Because he was able to move a collar off of, off of um, Jean Bar, I think his name is. So I don't know why he can't, you know, why he can't just room shambles and, you know, take out the dolls from Hawkins. I don't see why he can't do that. But maybe there's something we don't know. So yeah, that's everything I want to say about this chapter. I'm going to give it a free star rating and call it a view. Like always, guys, I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions. If you haven't already, please go to my YouTube channel. But most importantly, take care. Have a nice day.